Good day, fellow learners. Once again, this is your mentor, your fact check by the Ray Gapus, joining you from the summer capital of the Philippines, Baguio City. So we're now going to talk about case number 31 for your next generation NCLEX RN preparations. And before we start, I'd like to ask you to join us in this mission. Our goal is to provide free NCLEX RN application and review to 100 nurses. And to help us achieve this, just watch and finish the ads in our videos. And if you share this video to at least 10 of your friends, we'll pray for your success. And we thank you for that in advance. Now, we have also increased our scholarship grants to 100, from 100 to 300 for this year. And so we'd like to invite our colleagues who are less fortunate from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao to send us your application and we'll definitely give you a slot if you tick our criteria. So on to our inspirational message today from Carmel. Um, she actually sent me this message at 1.44 p.m. immediately right after she took her NCLEX. Hi, sir. Good day. I just took my NCLEX exam this morning. Nag-message lang po ako kasi I remember you po and na-amaze po ako. Ever since then, hindi pa ako naka-experience ang review. Nalalabas po talaga sa actual exam from my first number until I reach 150. Lahat po na na-discuss sa quick fix. So what she's practically saying is, she's sending me the message because she was so amazed to note that from her first question up to the 150th question, we all covered it in our quick fix program. What a way to go. Although pa iba iba ang scenario, but the point and concept still the same. So what she's saying is that even if the scenarios are stated in a different way, the concepts that we covered in the quick fix were there. Na iyak lang po talaga ako, sir, kasi umabot ako ng 150 si Lord na bahala. Hindi naman ako masyado nahirapan dahil oriented na po ako sa mga questions. Lahat po talaga lumabas na na discuss nyo. Pa iba iba lang ang pagtanong. Again, sir, thank you po. Okay. So what she's saying that she's teary eyed is that she's teary eyed because she reached 150 and she leave it all up to the Lord to grant her heart's desire. So she did not have that much difficulty because she was oriented in the different questions that she had in her test. She was saying everything that we discussed in the quick fix were there. It's such that the manner how the questions were phrased were changing from time to time. Okay, what a way to do it. Okay, and then she says, Lam nyo, sir, yung computer number 34. I think she used computer number 34 in her test. Parang nag-attend ng quick fix. So it's as if the computer attended our quick fix. Ang akin lang dun, sir, blessing and will na lang po ni Lord kung bibigyan niya ko ng chance maging USRN. Ang dami kaya pinapasa ni Lord. Sana din kahit freebies na lang din po ako sa mga nakapasawa. So what she's saying is, the questions from computer number 34 seems to be so much aligned with what we talk about in the quick fix. And she's just waiting for God's blessings if she would make it in the test. So she's living, at, she's living it all up to the Lord. And then at 12.48 a.m., note the time, today, Ms. Carmel Bernice Antonella added four letters after her name, USRN. And she says, hi, sir, good morning. I would like to share po that I passed the NCLEX exam last January 13, 2025. That's just a couple of days ago. Kahit umabot po ako ng 150, sorry, okay lang po. Maraming maraming salamat. Maraming maraming salamat po. Napakagaling at napakaganda ng review center nyo. So what she's saying is she passed the test and she appreciates the best program that we provide and she considers our system the best okay so and i said thank god he heard your prayers and i said good morning may your day be as special as you are so for those of you who wants to have the same experience as miss carmel bernice antonella all you have to do is to give us a call or message us on messenger or visit our website the ray a gapus review system now let me uh, read this advisory, Dr. Ray A. Gapus and the mentors of the Ray A. Gapus system are not part of another review center named Gapus Review Academy or whatever. You have to look for the Ray A. Gapus review system. We do not have anything to do with others using the same surname. Okay, so now let's move on to case number 31 and we're going to talk about anaphylaxis. In layman's term, this could be associated with an allergic reaction. And let's begin with wow this lady's picture why she joined our 
quick uh, boot camp in Baguio. And of course, we had a mentoring after. She's, she's, she let me sign MPLEX 311, which I authored. And she also has four letters after her name now. Okay, Geraldine Santos, actually eight, PHRN and USRN. So this is what she says. When the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Isaiah 60, verse 22. Grabe, finally I made it. Pili lang ang nakakaalam na nag-exam ako kasi ayaw ko ma-pressure. I took the exam last November, but I didn't avail the quick result kasi ayaw ko umasa dahil sobrang hirap ng exam. Buti may hipag ako na makulit. Chinek ang New York website kanina. Unang-una po, salamat. Elena Arabe, sa lagi pag support sa akin. Grabe po yung help niyo ni Daddy, Fidel Arabe. Salamat po lagi sa family ko na biggest support system. Veronica Rojas, Heraldito Rojas, Jolo Rojas, Ray Mark Santos, Marietta Almario, Lourdes Almario. Salamat po kay Sir Ray Gapos Jr. Grabe, iba po talaga kayo. May computer shut off at 85. Kasama na po ako sa 85 babies nyo. Kaya maraming salamat po. And higit sa lahat, Salamat Ama. Salamat sa pagdinig sa panata ko. Salamat din po sa AZ sa panalangin bago yung exam ko. So what she's practically saying is, she's saying thank you to everyone who gave her the support that she needed. Because she took the exam last November, she did not avail of the quick fix. She just checked this January whether she passed or not. And the good thing about her is she passed at the minimum number of items of 85. Now you have to ask her about her journey. It has a lot of twists and turns before she came to our system. And for that, our dear Geraldine, our congratulations. Okay. So, and of course, I asked, I told her, right system ang kailangan, hindi yung mura. So don't look for something that's very, very cheap in fees. And then she says, yes po, I totally agree. Sobrang thankful po talaga ako. Lahat po ng case studies ko na tackle nyo. And I said, mabuti na unto ka. It's a good thing that you hit your head finally. And then she says, yes po. Buti po, nag-pop up sa ad ko sa FB yung bootcamp ad. How, sobrang salamat po talaga. And I said, congratulations, you did a great job. It's time to chase your dream. So we actually have a promo. If you you will get a free review from us if you process your NCLEX RN application with ITAPS GAPU. So if you want to save on cost, see us. Here we go. So let's now talk about anaphylaxis and let's begin with a functional concept. Remember, a functional concept is a word, a phrase, a sentence, or even an entire paragraph that gives you a sense of direction on how you would deconstruct a question. In essence, it's the chewable version of your concept specifically designed for the NCLEX RN. So anaphylaxis is a life-threatening, acute, rapidly evolving allergen-driven process involving immunoglobulin E. So pay particular attention to the fact that immunoglobulin E is associated with anaphylaxis, okay? And anaphylaxis occurs within two minutes to two hours of exposure to a trigger. A trigger could be insects, okay? It could um, be bees or your wasp or your cockroaches. It could even be associated with a change in weather or the food that we take or sometimes even exposure to um, trees like juniper trees and even fruits. Okay, so it's very important for us to note these things when we are talking of anaphylaxis. Let's move on. So anaphylaxis is the most severe form of hypersensitivity that can lead to shock. So it's very important for us to note the client's airway and then note if there's going to be a changes in the vital signs, specifically a drop in the blood pressure with compensatory increase in the cardiac rate. So anaphylaxis is manifested, I remember, rash, okay? So respiratory system symptoms like difficulty of breathing or shortness of breath, or the client could describe it as chest tightness. So that's an important thing to note. Next, abdominal pain. So the patient may experience this um, in the beginning phase of the anaphylactic reaction. And then skin rushes and hives. Although hives in either acute or chronic form, this is not life-threatening. However, the resulting edema in the airways related to hives can make breathing difficult. And that's what needs to be addressed um, in an emergency manner. 
and definitely headache. So remember rash, respiratory symptoms, abdominal pain, skin rashes and hives, and headache. Whenever you see this group of symptoms, think about a possible anaphylaxis reaction. And among patients who have these symptoms, prioritize a client who is suffering from hives because they could develop edema of the airways that could definitely restrict their breathing, leading to decreased oxygenation. Now, anaphylaxis requires emergency interventions because it occurs within two minutes to two hours. Remember the rule of two. So therefore, it is very, very important that we manage anaphylaxis fast, okay? And that's our acrostic for the management of anaphylaxis, beginning with putting the client in a flat position. Don't allow them to walk. Don't allow them to, to move. So immediately put them in a flat position. That's a preventive intervention just in case their blood pressure immediately drops. And then adrenaline injection like EpiPen should be administered to counter the reaction uh, caused by the elevation of your immunoglobulin E. And then you need to start an IV antihistamine and cortisone for the prevention and treatment of the inflammatory processes that could result from anaphylaxis. And finally, you need to immediately transfer the client to a hospital. And that would require at least a four-hour stay in the emergency department for proper monitoring. Remember, treat anaphylaxis fast. Flood position, adrenaline injection through your EpiPen, start IV antihistamine and cortisone, and transfer to a hospital. Now, before we apply what we just have learned, let me just share with you the good things that they're saying about my book, NCLEX RN311, The Next Generation Quick Fix Edition. And this is coming from one of our friends who use it, and her pseudonym is I am Pilia. Meron din po na lumabas sa akin sa kapo blank, kaya nakangiti po ako na sumasagot kasi nabasa ko siya sa NCLEX 311. She's talking about at least two cases that um, came out in her test and she found that in our book. Now on to our case study number 31. Let's go through it. Let's apply what we just learned. So a client comes to the emergency department for difficulty of breathing and rushes. And whenever you see those two, anaphylaxis should immediately come to your mind. After a walk in a public park to enjoy the springtime weather, she has a history of latex allergy and asthma. There you go. You have our risk factors. So after the stroll, she had a dragon fruit shake and a banana strawberry float at an old park restaurant where some cockroaches were seen. So the client's condition is not related to which one of the following. The key word here that I'd like to highlight is the word not. So let's get through this. So difficulty of breathing and rushes brings to mind a potential anaphylaxis. And what are the triggers? Well, the change in weather could be one because usually in springtime, um, the weather could be around 10 to 15 degrees centigrade. So she has a history of latex allergy, and asthma. Okay, those are two things that are also associated with immunoglobulin E. After the stroll, she had a dragon fruit shake and a banana strawberry float. Where? This is actually where the difficulty is because you have to relate whether dragon fruit shake could be triggering the latex allergy or the asthma, or could it be the banana strawberry flow. That's the main argument. And of course, a, we have here cockroaches. Now we talk about this early on and we said that insects and including bees and cockroaches, including dust mites could actually trigger your anaphylaxis. So the client's condition is not related to which one of the following. Let's go through the options. The weather, definitely a change in weather is a trigger for asthma. So that's not the answer. The cockroaches, it's a trigger for allergic reaction. So that's not the answer. We're left with two or three. The fruit shake or the float drink. Now, remember that latex allergy is usually associated with fruits such as avocado, banana, kiwi, strawberry. And clients with allergies to kiwi can be at risk for another form of allergy, and that is dragon fruit allergy. 
So dragon fruit is not directly associated with latex allergy. So therefore, the answer to this question would be the fruit shape. I just hope you like the challenge posed by this case. And so let's move on now to our pastors. Join our hundreds of thousands of pastors from more than 36 countries now all around the world joining the Ray A. Gapos Review System because they want to be a registered nurse in the United States. So it's important that you have to learn how to study with technology at the Ray Gapos System. Our learning tools are published by world-renowned publishers. And we have our own learning management system, our core shell that covers everything that you need. And it's updated on a monthly basis. It's not static. And I asked Kalirisa which part of our review program helped you the most. And she says, the quick fix and the core shells. I've finished everything. The core shell, more challenging yung questions a core shell, sir. This is an exam ko na stand alone. Okay, what a way to go. And of course, we have our own NGN simulation room to give you um, a simulated experience of the actual test. And we keep our class to a comfortable number. So I'd like to invite you to our next generation NCLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test prep class for the NCLEX RN. Our fee starts at 3,499, inclusive of live face-to-face -face class, or your choice of live virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, our QBank entry books, plus our engine strategies and sample questions from me. So remember, a functional concepts a day keeps your NCLEX RN fears away. So this is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapus, at your service. I'll see you back in our next video. Take care for those who are having their test. I know you can make it. Just keep on believing.